Hey everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech. Today, I'm gonna show you how to disable or at least minimize the use of voice messages on your iPhone. Voice messages can be useful, but let's be honest, they can also be pretty annoying. First, let's clarify what we're talking about. There's a difference between dictation and voice messages. Dictation allows you to speak into your phone to convert your speech into text. Voice messages, on the other hand, are actual audio recordings you send to someone. You can create these voice messages directly in the Messages app or using the Voice Memos app and then share them. Unfortunately, there's no setting to completely disable voice messages on the iPhone. Apple hasn't provided a toggle to stop this feature entirely. But don't worry, there are ways to make it less prominent and harder to use accidentally. When you're in the Messages app and you're typing a message, you'll notice a plus icon. Tapping on this icon brings up several options, one of which is audio messages. One way to avoid using this feature is to drag it to a less accessible spot, move it towards the bottom of the list, or even to the next page. This way, it's not right there tempting you or getting in the way. Another thing to consider is the placement of the audio message icon. It usually appears next to the text field where you type your message. However, this icon only shows up when dictation is not enabled. By enabling dictation, you replace the voice message icon with the microphone icon for dictation. This small change can make a big difference in reducing the accidental use of voice messages. To enable dictation, open the Settings app, go to General, and then tap on Keyboard. Scroll down and toggle on Enable Dictation. This ensures that the microphone icon for dictation will appear instead of the uh, voice uh, message icon in the Messages app. While these methods don't completely remove the feature, they do make it less obtrusive. It's kind of like trying to remove the ability to send images via iMessage. You can't entirely, but you can certainly avoid it. Alternatively, if you find this feature too bothersome and you're open to using different apps, consider switching to other messaging platforms like WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. These apps have their own ways of handling voice messages and might offer more flexibility. That's all for today's video on how to disable or at least minimize the use of voice messages on your iPhone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.